Okay, Paul, I wanted to show you a real down and dirty way to do a read more type of a button inside of ClickFunnels, just like you'd have in a lot of blogs and stuff like that, where they got a little bit of text at the end that says read more. Let me just show you a simple, simple, simple way to do this. Uh, there's certainly more complicated ways, but this will get it done. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I did is I just put in, I mean, I'll just show you here. I just put in a little text paragraph. So I just came over. So it's a paragraph element. And I set the bold color to this kind of orangish red. And then all I did is I made that bit here. Come on. Click on it. There we go. I just made this bit here bold, so it turned it red. Like I said, this is real down and dirty. You could turn this into a hyperlink right here and then target the hyperlink itself. Uh, but I mean, you know, this then would become your anchor text, and you could target it that way. But I'm not doing that. I'm just going to target the entire paragraph. And then what I did is I set up a second paragraph right below it. Let's just turn that one on. And this is the read more paragraph now. And I didn't even bother putting in uh, using the data titles or anything like that. I'm just using the CSS ID selectors. So all I did here is create a second paragraph. I said here, read less. And then with each of these paragraphs, I just went in and uh, clicked on the gear icon, went down to the bottom, and I grabbed the CSS ID selector out of it. And then we're going to go put that into the code. So let's just look at the simple, simple code. And again, it could have gotten a lot more fancy. I could use if then statements, stuff like that. But I just built out two simple little functions. And all I say here is if somebody clicks on the first paragraph, this is the CSS ID selector for the first paragraph. If somebody clicks on that to then show the second paragraph. So it's just second paragraph and then show. And then in order to get rid of that, so somebody can collapse this back down again, all I said is if somebody clicks on the second paragraph, that the second paragraph will then be hidden. So you'll hide the second paragraph. And then for a little bit of CSS to put in here, because I wanted it to have a pointer, you know, the little hand icon instead of the pointy icon or the auto default uh, icon you see on the screen. I just said that for both of these paragraphs that we want to change the cursor to a pointer and I had to put in important in order to get it to be the priority CSS. And so that is it for the code. Very simple stuff. So let me just show you how it works. We come back in. We want to manage our elements because we want to hide this second paragraph. So we will hide that paragraph and then we will preview it. I already have it up and running right here. So all you do is you come in and you notice as soon as I come in here, it turns into a pointer anywhere on the text. And the truth is most people are going to think, oh, I got to click on the little red part in order to get it to show. And the truth is they don't. They can click anywhere in the paragraph and get it to show and to hide. But it just gives you the illusion that you have to click on that little bit right there. So I hope that is helpful. And hopefully if you can't, well, if you can't see the uh, code on the screen or you can't figure it out, just give me a holler. Have a great one.